coming back at you. Uh, like I said, I'm having some technical difficulties. So I'm trying to do my videos from my tablet. Um, if you guys will bear with me. Last video didn't turn out so bad. Still trying to figure out how to make eye contact. Um, I've been looking at the camera, so I don't know. Anyway, um, um, yesterday I went to, uh, the town, the city that's next to my city, you know. I went to, uh, do a little shopping and, um, went to a hair store over there and, um, uh, noticed uh, this this was a hair store that I've never been at. Um I've been to another one in another hair store in that town. But um it um this particular hair store I had never been to. I wanted to go check it out and you know see what they had and everything. It's a pretty nice hair store. Had a huge selection of weaves and everything in there. <laughs> and all kinds of black hair care products and everything. Um Anyway, I was just marinating, you know, I was marinating, I was thinking, um, um, once again, uh, there, there was a, um, I don't know what race of people these are, I don't know if they're Arabs or whatever, um, there wasn't the black people that owned the store. And so I said, like I said in one of my other videos, you know, that's a common thing that every time I go to these hair stores, um, it just seems like no matter where I go, when I go to these black hair stores that specialize in selling weaves and everything for black women, that there's never any African American people that's running the stores. It's always um, Middle Eastern people. I think they're Middle Eastern people that are running the stores. And so I was just marinating on that and I was like, see that that's a shame because uh the hair the 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 um hair industry, the hair weave industry is a multi billion dollar industry. It is a multi billion dollar interest industry. And it's really sad that not not a lot of African Americans have a stake in that. And more black people should own hair hair care stores in their own communities instead of having other races of people. I'm not against other races of people, but what happens is when other races of people are running these stores, they're 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 putting that money in their communities. They're not. It's not going into the black community. They're taking that money and they're it's going towards their community and it's going towards the uh, wealth building of their family, of the people in their family. They're building the wealth in their communities and in their families. It's not going in the black community, and that's a problem. These stores sell black hair products, and black. these stores are targeted to black women. And they sell hair weave, and they're selling black hair care products. Everything that is catered to black women is sold in these stores. Hair weave, black hair care products, black skin care products, um, you know, even clothes and shoes and everything that's geared towards African Americans are sold in these stores. And it just seems like everywhere I go, there's a common thing. Every time I go to one of these stores, it's always a Middle Eastern person that runs that's running the store. I think it's a Middle Eastern, but it's not African American. I rarely see an African American running these stores. And these stores, and this store that I went to yesterday was in the black community. It was in the black neighborhood of the city that I went to. It was in the black neighborhood. And so I was just thinking, I said, that's a shame that uh, this is a multi-billion dollar business. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. And how much of a stake do African Americans have in that? That's my question. How much in, in, in billions and billions of dollars that are made off the hair weave industry and the hair care, black hair hair care industry? 
how much of a stake does African Americans really have in it? And it's in it's 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 their products. It's their products, it's their hair that that that's their buying to put on their heads. And and more black people should have ownership of these stores. After all, these stores are in our community. They're in our community, so if they're in our community, then um, we should be the one that should be making the money off of this. That money should go into the black community or the wealth building of the black families. So black people need to start um, getting, start. we need to start figuring out how we can have ownership of these stores, that we can start opening up black hair care stores in our own community. Um, like I said on one of my other videos, my cousin owns a black, he did in fact own a black hair care store, um, but unfortunately black people did not support it, you know, and I think that's the problem. That's the problem. You know, we have a unity problem in our community, and we have a problem with supporting black businesses, and we have a problem with supporting each other. And that's the issue. You know, we need to support each other more. Um, and that's the bottom line. You know, we have to support each other more, um, so we can have so we can have ownership of these businesses. So we can start having these businesses, start running these businesses, get more of a stake in that billion dollar industry. It's a billion dollar industry. So we should have more of a stake in that industry. And so if we get more of a stake, because everywhere I go to these stores, every time I go to one of these hair stores, these predominantly African-American hair stores, I see all the races of people running it. And I never see no black people running it. And that's a problem. That is the issue. Uh, we did have another store here in town that had opened up. And I think they it was the black people that was running that, I believe. But unfortunately, that store just closed down. I don't know if they didn't get enough support from black people or they didn't have enough inventory. I don't know what the problem was. But I know that it takes at least a couple of years or so for a business to really for, for people to start for you when you start open up when you open a business it takes at least a couple of years for you to generate an income from that business and so that first one or two years of you opening that small business is going to either make it or break it and if you don't have the ability to um, get your build up your clientele or whatever like that then it's going to be hard after that two years it's going to be hard for you to make to earn a profit and, and pull in a, a profit. And so that's the key is just having that clientele. And so, you know, I just, I was just marinating on that. I was like, it's like every time I go to one of these stores, it's, it's ran by a Middle Eastern person or it's, it's ran by a non-African American person. And they're taking that money and they're putting it into their communities, the building up the wealth of their family and into their communities that money is not going in the black community. They're making a lot of money off of us. They're making a lot of money off of us. They're they're gaining a huge profit off of us. But the money is we we're not we're not getting any money. It's, that's a multi billion dollar you know uh, <laughs> corporation. Well, not corporation, but it's a it's a multi billion dollar industry. The hair weave industry is a multi billion dollar industry. And I don't, like I said, I, I, I highly doubt that African Americans have much of a stake in that. And that's really sad because African Americans should have more of a stake in it, being that these stores are targeted towards African Americans. In other words, they're coming into our communities and they're making money off of us. That money's going into their families to build their families' wealth, and it's going into their communities to make them richer. But we're not profiting anything from it. So that's pretty sad. More black people should own these stores. We need to start having ownership of more black businesses in the black community. Instead of other people coming into the community, uh, other races of people, 
and making money off of us and then they leave the black community they don't live in the black community they leave the black community they go into their own communities so that's there's something seriously wrong with that not saying i'm against us people of other races don't get me wrong i'm not but i i believe that our african-american people should be running these stores so that money can go into the black community can can go go towards the wealth building uh African American families, and we can start to have, and this happens to have to happen on a mass level. So, I don't know. I was just thinking about that yesterday when I went to yet another one of these hair stores, and I seen that an African American was not running the store. And this was a nice one too. I mean, it was a big one, huge store, and it had a uh, long weave. It had weave for days in there. <laughs> All kind of weave and everything. And so as I said, see, these black people should be running this. They're making a whole lot of money off of us in these stores. I mean, they're making a killing off of black people in those stores. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. It was just something that I was marinating the other day. I was in that store, and it was just something that I was marinating on the other day. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Got some more interesting videos coming up. This is Sweet June.